Well, uh, not the start to the season I think most of us were expecting, but hey, a win is a win. Look, I know it was just the Pistons, they were without their number one pick and their rookie in King Cunningham, and the Bulls looked pretty rusty and sloppy throughout the game, especially on offense. The first quarter was pretty ugly, and even though the Bulls looked better in the remaining quarters, it still wasn't great, especially against a bad team. But just like we saw in the preseason, the Bulls found a way to pull it out in the fourth quarter and win the game. And with the Bulls winning tonight, believe it or not, they are now above 500 for the first time since 2017. So what's going on, everyone? You're listening to Bulls Central here. Hope you're all doing well. Guys, before I get into the post-game video real quick, in case you missed my video from earlier this morning, I had the pleasure pleasure to speak with Bulls beat writer Casey Johnson as we discuss the Bulls offseason and season expectations so make sure you check it out in case you missed it I'll leave a link to it in the description below I also made a Bulls hype video yesterday so feel free to check that one out as well and with the Bulls kicking off the season with a win I'm sure there will be a lot of new viewers tuning into the channel more regularly so if you're new to the channel I'll be covering the Bulls all season long so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video but with that said let's get into the content now the first quarter I won't lie, had me a little nervous. Like, is this just back to the old Bulls ways? That being said, though, what I did like in the first quarter was the effort was there. You know, guys were hustling and making the right plays. They just couldn't finish at the basket. The Bulls shot 28% from the field in the first quarter, 0 for 5 from 3. And against a bad Pistons team, like, that was brutal. But you almost kind of knew they weren't going to keep up with that poor scoring. And that they would eventually figure it out. You know, Bulls had all but one steal in the first half. Uh, after having double-digit steals games throughout the preseason. Now, they only had eight assists in the first half as well. I mean, the defensive intensity, again, was there, but the offense, they just could not find any kind of momentum. Too many missed shots, letting the bad calls get to them, silly turnovers. I mean, in a way, you kind of need that. You need the players to have a bit of a reality check when it comes to the difference between the preseason and regular season play. But either way, the Bulls finally started to get things together in the third quarter, and really the second half of the third quarter, when when Levine finally started taking over and even then the Pistons still kept hanging around you know I think Levine is uh, now that he knows that he has the talent on this roster who can score he was deferring more to others especially in the first half and maybe a little too much he was being a little too unselfish because he's talked about how all he cares about is winning and he's willing to sacrifice his offensive production for the betterment of the team and when you saw DeRozan and Vucevic not shooting all that well they were making the right moves and doing everything right but they just could not finish and Levine just said nah I'm gonna start taking over and he certainly did he was really the only player out there who was efficient on offense at least for those with high usage tonight the Bulls led by two points going into the fourth quarter and you almost kind of wondered are the Bulls gonna dominate in the fourth and just put these guys away are we going to witness something like last season where the bulls collapse in the fourth also a huge shout out to io who closed out the third quarter strong with back-to-back -back buckets and then also played solid minutes to start off the fourth i really really like what i have been seeing from this kid thus far and really on both ends of the floor he was pestering guys on the defensive end and i love seeing that scrappiness and of course Again, Levine took over in the fourth when the Bulls needed him most with less than five minutes of play. Vucevic and DeRozan, they tried. They were putting up shots to close out the game, but they just couldn't hit. What I will say is, you know, give the Pistons credit. They played hard. They wanted to win their season opener at home. And the Bulls thought that they would come in here and win an easy one. And the Pistons weren't having any of it. And they fought in this game all the way to the end, even to the final minute. Now, one player I was pretty disappointed with in this game was DeMar DeRozan. I mean, it was his first game with the Bulls, so I'm going to give him a pass. But what happened with all the playmaking we saw from this guy in San Antonio? And it was the main reason why the Bulls brought him and paid him so much money was not only for his scoring, but also his playmaking he was playing a lot of isolation basketball throughout the game not getting guys involved taking hard contested shots and turning the ball over in the paint you know some of those shots that he took at the end were very questionable when really the ball should have been in Zach's hands in those final minutes you know he was the only guy that was feeling it at the end of the game I still believe in DeRozan you know this doesn't take away from the fact that I think he you know, he's going to be a great player and will be a huge impactful player for the Bulls this season, but tonight just wasn't his game and he shouldn't have been taking those shots down the stretch. DeRozan ultimately finished the game with 17.7 rebounds and two assists, three steals as well on eight for 17 shooting, which, you know, you look at that box score and think that's not a bad game, but I would just much prefer seeing DeRozan facilitating more and using his veteran experience to get guys involved and not playing iso ball. The Bulls as a whole had 16 turnovers, which again, something they struggled with last 
season. We talked about it a lot on the channel, something that they've got to improve going into the season. Hopefully this will just be an isolated event for them as the Bulls were one of the worst teams in the league last year in terms of overall turnovers. They also didn't shoot that well from behind the arc. Hopefully we see that change as well. Bulls finished the game shooting seven for 23 from three. The other thing that I was a little disappointed in was the fact that the Bulls only had 18 assists in this game. I mean, in the preseason, we saw this incredible ball movement throughout. Sometimes the Bulls were passing a little too much in the preseason. And then the team as a whole was putting up 30 plus assists in some of those games. It's gonna be hard to win ball games for the Bulls consistently when you're not playing team basketball and facilitating on offense. Again, why isolation ball isn't going to work with this team. As for the players, I covered DeMar already. You know, Vucevic struggled a bit tonight. I mean, he was a monster on the boards as he always is, but had a hard time getting things going on the offensive end. And it kind of started when he was just letting the refs get into his head early when he picked up that technical foul. He finished the game with 15 points and 15 rebounds. He wasn't all that efficient on offense, shooting seven for 21. He also had three turnovers. Uh, Lonzo Ball, not the best debut with the Bulls, but he was plus 17 on the night. So the team did well when he was on the court, but just 12 points, shot two for seven from the field. Uh, two for seven from three, sorry, five rebounds and four assists, but wasn't as scrappy on defense as we saw from him in the preseason. Still effective on the defensive end, but would have liked to see him reaching in a little more and deflecting passes. Patrick Williams, I mean, you know, kind of similar narrative to what we talked about last season for him. He's there, gets good minutes, but pretty quiet and timid on offense. He passed up on some shots that he absolutely should have taken, only put up three attempts throughout this whole game and finished with just six points and one rebound. Then of course, our guy, Zach Levine. I mean, it's no wonder why you just need to get him the ball if other guys aren't feeling it. He wasn't that aggressive on offense in the first half and then took over in the second half and was ultimately what led the Bulls to winning this game. Just incredibly efficient, limiting his turnovers, which is something Zach has struggled with in the past. Finished the game with 34 points on 11 for 17 shooting, seven rebounds and four assists, was doing it all for this team. And without him tonight, the Bulls likely would not have been able to walk away with the W in this one. Now, Caruso, not the best night on offense based on what we saw in the preseason, but his defense is really what makes up for that. He was just all over the place and hounding the Pistons. Ended the night with four of the Bulls' total eight steals. Uh, he also had two blocks as well. And then how about the hometown kid, Ayo Dosumu, comes in to give the Bulls some solid minutes off the bench. I think a lot of people expected he wouldn't be getting any playing time tonight unless it was coming down to garbage time. But as I mentioned before, he showed up well and came up big for the Bulls, closing out the third quarter and the start of the fourth. He finished the game with seven points and was hustling on both ends. Looking forward to seeing what else this kid is going to be able to do in his rookie season. And I imagine while Kobe is out, he'll likely be getting more run in Billy Donovan's rotation. So anyway, I said this in the live group chat, a win is a win. I'll take it. But uh, hopefully this will serve as a lesson to the Bulls that they can't take any of their opponents lightly, no matter who is in and out of the lineup. They come in, they play like it's a must win game every night. That's what they have to do. No taking nights off, no sleeping on defense, no getting in their heads when shots aren't falling. Just keep fighting and claw your way to the end for the win. That's all that we ask as fans. So not a pretty win tonight. But again, this is a brand new team, a completely overhauled roster that has still have a lot to learn in playing with each other. And it's the first game of the season. So I'm not going to overreact and say that this is a problem and a bad sign of things to come. Like I said before, there is going to be a learning curve with this team and it'll take some time to figure things out. Thanks for those who tuned into the live chat. As always, it's great chatting with you guys live while the game is going on. And as always, guys, be sure to subscribe if you're a Bulls fan as I do post daily Bulls content. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.